Hello, welcome to the first video list for um, BB Guns Online. This will, this will be this a quick go through of the first gun, which is the M4A1. Like I said, from BB Guns Online. The Lake Fort will be here. Think length for website and length for this gun is a pretty thick as well. Also, the links are down in the description, so it's a bit handier. Yes, it's, as I said, is the M4A1. And then the box you get, well, first of all you get an instruction manual that is actually a pretty good manual. And the English is actually quite good as well. There's a wee bit of English on the cover, but the English inside is actually really good, which I was surprised at. So I actually went through looking to find bad translations to laugh at, and I couldn't. Of course, in the, in the box you get a charger, you get your battery, which is a 9.6 volt to 300 milliamp, and it actually has a Dean's connector, which I was very, very surprised at and very, very pleased to see. That's a lovely touch. You also get a sling, and normally these you get a wee cheap two point sling, but this is actually a three point sling, which I was also quite impressed with. I did not expect to get a three point sling with this. Again, you got the usual pack of free ammo, the 100.12s in this, but I won't be using them. You get your speed loader for the magazine. It's a big fillet with BBs in there. Close it up and pump them in. But I should be using my own one for this video because I prefer it just. You also get a pair of safety glasses. Slightly tinted. The cheap ones, but they will do the job. Perfectly well, and of course you get the gun itself. Now the gun isn't quite fully assembled in the box when you get it, which means the box is smaller than it would be fully assembled, which is brilliant. I know, second, get this out. There we go. The buffer tube comes detached, but it's really simple putting it on. It's literally just sliding it on over the end here. Slide it up and slide it down, and that's it set. And that will be ready to roll. Just will stock four positions. That's it fully in, fully out, and like the there's full. There's four positions in between those. But personally, I'll probably have it fully out the entire time because it feels good for me. Now, the gun itself is mainly plastic, the body is plastic. Grips plastic, triggers plastic, handguards plastic, the carrying wheels plastic. Basically, it's nearly all plastic apart from the inner barrel. Which does mean it is quite a light gun, which is good. It's not the lightest of held. I have definitely had lighter. There's definitely a bit of weight around the gearbox. But it's light enough that you're not going to get tired. Which is always a good thing if you're running around all day and you end up getting exhausted from carrying your gun. It's not going to be a good day. You're not going to have the best time. Like what else? The charging handle and bolt aren't functioning. They, you can't do anything with them, which is unfortunate. Does cover again, doesn't open, it's just very decoration. Fire selector, semi safe full auto, pretty standard. Not ambidextrous, so if you are left handed, it would be a problem to use this gun. But the same with that is with all M4s, not just this one. Magazine release is there, at your button, press it, magazine comes out. Put your magazine back in, it's like that, simple as. It's actually a nice wee feeling to push this magazine in. Some magazines you put them in, you can't really feed, there's no feedback in, you're not sure it's whether it's in or not. There's a really nice clicking feed to that. Again, this is a mid, sorry, low cap magazine, so there's no winding, no rattling. You fill it up, stick it in, and you fire it in assembly. I do prefer the low caps, mid caps to the high caps myself because I hate the winding and the constant rattling of it. Sights are plastic, the re there's two different apertures on the rear one and it is adjustable for elevation via this knob here. Now the windage unfortunately is not adjustable for. That is unfortunate but I would never really use it anyway, I don't actually use iron sights. I just watch the flight of the, flight of the BB because it's well, more reliable, easier to see. 
Again, car reel is removable, and there are reels underneath that for attaching whatever the hell you want. Laser, torch, scope, red dot, whatever you fancy. Again, as is all M4s, the battery goes in the handguard here. And you pull down, you pull back on the delta ring, and remove the lower part of the handguard. And the connector is sitting in there. So it's simple enough to attach the battery, just line up the two wee pins in this with the holes in this and push them together until you hear a very faint click, which I did and that is it ready to go just slot it back in the handguard oh, I did it, I did it right, wouldn't it? <laughs> now personally this is my personal opinion, but I dislike having batteries in the handguard personally because I am used to a solid stock the two guns I use mainly are an MP5 and an M16, it's an MP5A4. So I'm used to having a solid stock, you just pop the battery in and close it. So when it comes to these, I'm not the best to hold the delta ring stuff. Some people would be better, because if they're used to M4s or anything else that has a battery in the handguard, they will find this to be no problem at all. But for me, it's a little bit a hassle for me because I'm not used to it. Although, I must say, I've done, it, I've done change the battery now three or four times in this. I'm getting a lot better but very very quickly so it's not hard to get the hang of. It's just the first few times you do it will be a wee bit awkward to you get used to the idea of it. I think everything sling there's swing mount there and on the rear here. Again you can run your three point through that. I think that's all the features of the body itself. Hmm, yep. Yeah. That is pretty much everything. So stay tuned and you will have a shooting test in about 5 seconds. So here we are at the shooting test. Now first of all though before we get shooting, I'll show you how to reload the magazine. It's pretty damn simple. Magazine release, that thing comes out. Then you take your speed loader. This is my own one. You get one with the gun, it's slightly different, but it works the exact same way. Just line up the nozzle with the feeding tube and you plunge them in until it's full. It's not the most difficult thing to do in the world to be honest. It holds 30 to 40, I'm not too sure exactly how many, but in there around that, and that is it full. Just lock this up, put it back in my pocket. If it would go in. There we go. And you take your magazine and simply push it in like that. Now one thing about this gun that I forgot to mention, it has a it does have pop-up, but it's a fixed pop-up. Basically that means you can't adjust it at all. That is good and it's bad. It's good because it means it's not gonna get knocked out of place, it's gonna stay set. You're not gonna lose your setting. It's bad though because it means you can't change it if you need to for wind or elevation or you know you can't adjust it. So it's good things and bad things, but it is better than no hop-up. It makes a big difference to the range of the gun. But now, yes, on to the shooting. Target's up about 10 metres down range, roughly. 15. A few shots on semi-auto first. And now full. Has it gone empty? Yep. Yeah. This is the M4A1. Available from BB Guns Online. Like I said before, link is down below in the description. And enjoy!